Hi, my name is Chris, N9CVR. In this video, we're gonna get minty fresh breath. In this video, I'm gonna be in a whole lot of pain. In this video, we're gonna learn CW, CW? All right, so here's kind of what we're gonna do. I've got this can of Altoids. Um, open her up. Something like that. There we go. I don't know, well, I, I know why they shrink wrap it, but it's hard to get that in the garbage. There are our curiously strong mints. Um, <laughs> piece of paper says uncle I wonder why we don't need the piece of paper here's kind of how we do it mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so minty fresh breath. This does not come with the kit. Um, yeah, I have minty fresh breath right now. Um, no, joking aside, I just, I had one of these laying around. I didn't eat them all at once, whatever. But this is what the kit looks like. So you get this little piece of paper or whatever in the bag. I see there's components in there and then the circuit board. So let's open it up. Got to get everything out here. Tiny little switch there. Nothing left in the bag. Okay, this looks like kind of a business card thing and uh, just kind of basic stuff about Morse code and then they're kind of giving you a um, I guess they want you to learn in this order. So learn to say Estonia, Dr. Mulch, and then... So, good times. A couple of batteries. That switch. Now here we get into the good stuff. So this looks like a little jumper. Remove seal after washing. Okay. Oh, okay. This this must be the little buzzer they use. Uh, this looks like a blue LED. A surface mount capacitive touch circuit. So that'll be kind of cool. I think that sits right here. And I'm not good enough to be able to tell if these are a couple of resistors or induct. Oh, no, they're, they're resistors. I can tell because R1 and R2. So these got to be inductors. Here's a little jack, I assume, so that you can plug in some headphones. A transistor. This is a 2N7000. And then a pair of these battery holders. And then it's all kind of half stuck into this little chunk of foam to keep it safe-ish. So, um, note there are no instructions. Kind of debating whether I should pull them up or not. I kind of feel like not. This is just like a sol solder it up and call it good, I think. Um, Oh, I just noticed there's a J2 optional power here. I wonder if you can you know, run external power instead of these, um, these guys. So that's kind of interesting. Um, well, let's start soldering stuff. I'm just kind of staring at it for a second and thinking how would this be easiest to do. Um, 
that's the buzzer. That's what that is, okay. Let us start with the resistors. I think that'll be... Basically what I'm looking at is, you know, if I put, say, this buzzer here, I'm just picking a spot, but whatever. Now, if this is soldered in here, well, this is going to be all sorts of wobbly. So I'd kind of rather solder up the small stuff first. I think resistors might be a good thing to start with. So, how are these looking? Okay. Very fine little leads here. That's fine. What a, that's fine. See what I did there? Bend them up, something like that. Okay, uh, I do have to figure out which one is which. So there's a 390 and a 68. I am not awesome on my resistor color codes. However, I do remember that uh, one of these colors here is a, um, is a 6. So I'm thinking this is the 68 ohm. Let's just bend this one up to there's supposed to be um, a bunch of mnemonics for remembering how to do color codes actually I've got one over there I can't see it that's all right um, there is a g-rated one out there <laughs> It is also very non-memorable. So, well, I'm going to just take this little risk and say I think this is a 68 ohm resistor. I'm very confident it is. Let's stick this one in here. There we go. And then I'll just kind of bend the leads out a little bit. And then I'm going to assume this one is the 390. I'd just like it to face kind of the same direction. I don't know why I'm just kind of that way. That one will go in here. Bend the leads out. Yeah, I love recording on my phone. Anyway, I don't know how much of that I got. Um, but here everything is it was super easy um everything was just solder it up the hardest well most involved part was this little sensor here and basically all i did was um there's this little plastic jumper this guy you solder that in then i put the touch sensor on top i grabbed my swiss army knife just kind of put it here like this to hold it so that this, the touch sensor doesn't sit at a weird angle. Soldered the top and we're done. So, one thing left to do. Stick this guy in. Oh yeah, we've got to remove the seal after washing. Okay, it's going to be that kind of a seal. There we go. One battery. Come on. Two batteries. So we gotta have power. But we don't have power. Well, there we go fun fun little um little kit other thing i'm going to do is take this little piece of foam that came with it put it in here um i guess i will say if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button um 
all that. Any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. If you do subscribe, remember to also hit that notification bell thing because otherwise uh, you're not going to get to see that I did anything. Um, and past that, uh, we'll see you on the next video. Yeah. <laughs>